Hey, what's up? In this tutorial, I'm going to start a series of how to handle forms and how to deal with uh, PHP and MySQL and Apache all on your local machine without having to have your own uh, website or domain name. Um, you can test all of this stuff locally. Um, we're going to be using only PHP. Uh, and we're not going to be using like Cold Fusion or ASP or anything like that, mainly because PHP and MySQL and Apache are free. Um, anybody can install them on their machine. Um, in this in this set of tutorials, we're going to be using uh, the Windows version. Well, there's this is the Windows version and the Mac OS X and the Linux version are the same thing, but um, it's it's a little bit different when you install it. But luckily, we have something called WAMP. Uh, which stands for Windows, uh, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. Um, and it is all compiled into an executable that you can go download yourself. And um, <clears throat> that is what we are going to do first. So uh, it's as easy as going to wampserver.com and clicking on download. And go down here and you see uh, this WAMP server 2.0 go there and you click on that download this executable you save it I've already saved it I've already I've already done this but I'm um, just showing you how to get to the place that you need to get to and so you download the executable and it's as easy as running the executable and I think there's one thing that you have to fill out um, whenever you you run it, but it will install MySQL, PHP, Apache, and um, it'll do all that for you so easily. So once you do that, you will have your local host set up, and you're going to need to start it. So you're going to want to go down here and click on Start All Services. <coughs> and you can see that it has a few options here that you can go check out and for the meantime we're not going to worry about those everything that we need is installed um, on the initial install so I'm just going to run through a few things as far as um, what is what is going to be useful to us we're going to be using PHP my admin to uh, administrate our MySQL database and we are also going to be using this folder right here, this www folder, which is going to be inside your install folder, your WAMP install folder, which is going to be in your local disk or, or in your C drive. Um, it's going to be on the root level of your C drive. So you double click on WAMP, you double click on www, and you can see that there's already an index. PHP script inside of the www folder and what that is is the starter or the pointer file for your um, your www folder so when you go to localhost after you've already after you've gone on here and you've started all services this is the page that's going to pop up and we can actually go and see what this page looks like inside of Dreamweaver I'm gonna go to open and then I'm gonna go to your C drive WAMP www and then index and go check out the code and you can see there are some PHP things going on right here and at the mean in the meantime, you know, we don't need to worry about all this stuff because we are going to create our own PHP files to start handling some forms. So now that you have WAMP installed, we are ready to continue on to the next tutorial and we're ready to start working with some server side code, start with some form handling. And uh, I know that some of you guys have been asking for this, so I'm looking forward to showing you guys how to do it. So make sure you guys uh, stay Stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.